we did feel this year that certainly we knew that Hal was very deserving of this award. And we had another nominee that uh, we all voted on too and decided that, that she also deserved this award. I'm gonna go on and tell you who it is. Um, it's Estelle Garner with Samaritan Recovery. Estelle is not able to be with us tonight. They, as, today, they um, took her brother, who she has been taking care of, to the hospital. And so she needed to be with him. So let's please, please keep her and her family in our prayers. Um, certainly, John, please let her know that, that we are thinking of her, okay? And I want to read the nomination because I... I thought it was so heartfelt. Estelle has been and continues to be a strong pillar of strength in the alcohol and drug treatment community. For the past 30 plus years, she has, proved, she has provided treatment services to multitudes of people and remembers most of them personally, as well as mentored numerous counselors and therapists who have chosen to work in this profession. She has consistently demonstrated her commitment to her profession, her agency, her staff, her peers, and at the heart of it all, the people who struggle daily with addiction and mental illness. She has shown that her deepest desire is to inspire, motivate, teach, and mentor other professionals. She especially has a heart for mentoring women in the field of addiction services. She has taken numerous win women under her wing and help them develop their skills, taught them to fly. Because she has taught so many counselors and therapists to fly, she has left a permanent mark in substance abuse treatment history. So many will take what they have learned from her to provide guidance, compassion, and wisdom to the people they serve. I do not believe that she knows just how deeply she has impacted the lives of other people. It is my hope that each person that has learned under her will have a similar effect on at least one person's life. The results could change the world. Let me review a bit of her professional history. She started her career in the field of alcohol and drug treatment in 1985 when she started at Samaritan Recovery Community as a counselor. Over the years, she has held various positions at Samaritan, counselor in halfway house and residential programs, coordinator for residential program, clinical director, and for the past 14 years, the associate director. She has been a licensed alcohol and drug abuse counselor since 1988 and received nationally certified addictions counselor too in 1991. She has contributed to her profession by serving as an oral examiner for the State Board of Alcohol and Drug Abuse Counselors for many years. She has achieved several awards throughout her career including Professional of the Year Award from the Tennessee Association of Alcohol and Drug Abuse Counselors in 1993. Um, she was named the Treatment Professional of the Year in, 19, uh, in 2002 by the Department of Health Bureau of Alcohol and Drug Abuse Services. Additionally, she was appointed to the Board for Licensing Healthcare Facilities by Governor Bredesen in 2005. We are pleased to award the Sharon Trammell Memorial Lifetime Achievement Award to Estelle Garner. John? You're pretty. Please give this to her. On behalf of Estelle, she really wanted to be here tonight, uh, but obviously couldn't. Um, but on, on behalf of Estelle, and one other thing I don't think she mentioned, Estelle is retiring next month after 30 years of service, she is retiring. Uh, but on behalf of Estelle, thank you so much. She, she so deserves this award, uh, the impact that her 30 years of service has made on, on other counselors and on people with addictions is immeasurable. And thank you so much. 